It's pretty safe to say that Nikola Tesla thought outside of the box. It is also a bygone conclusion that the world we see around us today was largely envisioned by the great inventor. His work was seized at the New York Hotel by U.S. intelligence agencies shortly after his death in January 1943. And slowly over time, his work is being released to the world for financial gain. One of the lesser known inventions, or more an idea of an invention that Tesla envisioned, is one that over 36% of the world's population use on a daily basis. That is 2.5 billion people. Wait, do you hear this? We all think the smartphone was invented or realized as a possibility in the 1980s. It never happened overnight, and though these inventions have been realized in modern times, there is actually a progression of thoughts that led to this, and the original idea was born of Nikola Tesla's thoughts. In the early 1900s, he drew up blueprints for a device which would show live stock market trading from the New York Stock Exchange through wireless technology. He describes the device as being a handheld device with a screen perhaps 5 inches, small enough to fit into your pocket. In a popular mechanics interview from 1909, Tesla is quoted as saying, It will soon be possible, for instance, for a businessman in New York to dictate instructions and have them appear in type in London or elsewhere. He will be able to call from his desk and talk with any telephone subscriber in the world. It will only be necessary to carry an inexpensive instrument, no bigger than a watch, which will enable its bearers to hear anywhere on sea or land for distances of thousands of miles. This device was never adapted due to lack of funding for Tesla's idea. He was, after all, an outcast from the popular elite of the day who did not like the fact that Tesla could take ideas from Thomas Edison, for example, and make the invention better and more reliable than they could ever have thought possible and to this regard, there was an agenda against the great man. Most of the world's inventions or adaptations of inventions like TV, remote control, and radio, for example, are only allowed by Nikola Tesla's dream of a global world grid for energy and communication. The great inventor warned the popular celebrity scientist of the day. He said, let the future tell the truth and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs. The future, for which I have really worked, is mine. Does that give you a shiver up your spine or what? It is a shame to think what may have been. Would the United States even be the great superpower of the world today if it was not for this monopoly in selling these ideas to the world? It makes you wonder. If they are able to shun a genius like Nikola Tesla, then what other ancient technologies and historical accuracies are being withheld from the public scrutiny? The truth is, of course, leaking out bit by bit, and the masses are only now beginning to learn and appreciate the truth about history. Perhaps our country's leaders don't know these truths either. Maybe we as people as a whole are in fact ignorant beyond belief to the point we can't even see it. Just a thought. John B. Kennedy interviewed Nikola Tesla for a Collier's magazine, and he is quoted as saying the following. When wireless is perfectly applied, the whole earth will be converted into a huge brain, which in fact it is, all things being particles of a real and rhythmic whole, we shall be able to communicate with one another instantly, irrespective of distance. Not only this, but through television and telephony, we shall see and hear one another as perfectly as though we were face to face. Despite intervening distances of thousands of miles, and the instruments through which we shall be able to do will be amazingly simple compared with our present telephone. A man will be able to carry one in his vest pocket. It doesn't take a genius to work out what Nikola Tesla described in this interview. For a device first thought of in the early 1900s as a wireless pocket device for a singular purpose, to realizing that he really did have the idea for one of the greatest inventions in the history of modern culture. Tesla never got to patent this idea, but the thought for a mobile smartphone was born in Tesla's mind. He knew his work would prevail as history unfolds. He truly envisioned a better tomorrow. What do you guys think of the information we have presented here? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.